Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3k in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 12 of the 2024 release star test. This is a new item type called equation editor, and if you haven't done something, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have to find the total miles that Easton rode in his bike last week. We need to put the answer in the equation editor. So let's find an answer. There's two main ways that we can do this, right? We need total miles, right? If we wanted to think of this as a strip diagram, kind of figure out what we're doing, we've got these three chunks. We've got the Monday, it's one fourth. We've got Wednesday, 0 0.75. And then we've got the 5 eighths. Right, and we're looking to add this up. Now, here's the challenging part. I've got two fractions and I have a decimal. Can't add like that. You need to make them all fractions. You need to make them all decimals. So, what we can do is first, let's make them all fractions. Two of them are already fractions. So let's make this third one a fraction. What is 0 0.75 as a fraction? You can always write as a fraction like this using place value 75 over 100. And then you need to write it in its simplest terms, and you might be thinking, hmm, how would I write that? Well, you can find a, a equivalent fraction by dividing, right, by greatest common factors. So that's going to be 25, so that's 3 fourths. Or you can think, oh, yeah, 75 cents. That equals 3 quarters or a dollar. So I could rewrite this as 3 fourths. So I need to add 1 fourth, 3 fourths, and 5 eighths. You can't add them if you have different denominators. But take a look at this. What if you just added the 1 fourth and the 3 fourths? Look what you get. That's just 4 fourths, or that equals 1 whole. So what's that 1 whole plus 5 eighths? Well, that's going to equal 1 and 5 eighths. So that could be one answer. And how would I enter that here? Well, I would need to do 1, right? Then I would need to hit this fraction bar to get my fraction to go, and I can say 5, hit the bottom, 5 eighths. That is one correct answer. Now, if you wanted to make them all into eighths, you could do that. You could say, well, 1 fourth, let's double it to get 2 eighths. Let's get 3 fourths. Let's double it. Let's get 6 eighths, okay? So 2 eighths and 6 eighths plus 5 eighths. That's going to equal. 2, 8, 13. Okay, so that's going to equal 13 eighths. So this system is smart enough to where if you wanted to, you could just write 13 eighths. Now I would need to hit the fraction bar first, get my numerator, then hit the bottom to hit 13 eighths. That is also correct. You might not have done any of the fractions. What you can do is you could change them into decimals. If you could change them into decimals, you can line them up. Right? So let's change them into decimals. I've already got my 0 0.75, and 1 fourth, right, we can divide up to get our decimal, but hopefully you know that 1 fourth is 1 quarter, 1 quarter is 25 cents, right? You need to divide 4 into 1, add a 0, and that's going to go in twice, add another 0, bring it down, that's going to go in 5 times. So I've got 0 0.75, 0 0.25, which Right, that's going to make that, that full one. I just need the 5 eighths. So if you don't know your 5 eighths, you can always divide up. Or you can multiply by 125 to get into the thousandths. All right, so that's going to be 50, 6, 48. Keep going. All right, that's going to be 2, 16. Keep going. And that is going to be 5, 0 0.65. So you can do it this way, 6, 2, 5. And if you want, we can add some zeros. They all go to the thousandths place. And you can add this up like this. 5, 5, 10, 12. Let's see, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 7. That's 10, 16. So 1.65, which is equal to 13 eighths which is equal to 1 and 5 eighths. Three different ways to add it. They are all correct.